Jacqueline, on the edge was a problem with most of the defensive ends in the game against North Carolina. Just what did you see from them and kind of what improvement they need to make? Say that, say that part again. The tackling on the edge was pretty poor throughout the game. Just what did you see from them and what improvement needs to be made? From a defensive end perspective, um, you know, I, didn't, I didn't think we tackled poor at defensive end. So. But I mean, we got to continue to get better as a, as a team. But like, if you go back and look at missed tackles of, of the defensive end, that wasn't something that showed up. Liam? seen Ryan hit some really long field goals this season. Just what was the confidence level sending him out early? I think it was 56 yards and you giving up the timeout. Just kind of what is the belief level in Ryan in this situation? I mean, you know, he's earned the right to, to for our full confidence and everything that, that he brings to the table. He wants the opportunities. He practices hard for those opportunities. And, um, you know, when we get, get in those situations, it, it's, it's a great weapon to be able to have a guy that you feel confident in from – Really, probably 57, 58, and in. Um, you know, he's he's had a, a really remarkable season this year. He's gotten uh, stronger as a player as, as his time here in the, in the program has has gone on, and uh, he's a really confident player right now. So, um, you know, that's that's uh, that's something that that we got to continue to to take advantage of while while we have him on the team for sure. Ira, one of the things. Um you know, I think people have huge expectations for Morgan because of his name and recruiting and all that. Um, it seems like just watching him before practices and after practices, the work he puts in, how pleased with that have you been? And, and what do you think the potential still is for, for him as a player? I mean, Marvin certainly, I mean, he cares a lot, you know, and, and uh, you know, he, he does put in the work. I mean, he, he got, you know, I, I don't know if you remember, but like he was limited to start fall camp. And really, he was limited to start fall camp because he rolled his ankle doing work on his own, um, you know, prior to the season even starting. And that little window we have uh, where we give him a couple of days off. So um, work ethic has, has never been a question. You know, there is some development that needs to continue to take place at the defensive end position and places that he can improve. But because um, it's really his first year playing in a true four down system like that. Um, but but I. I think he has a, a huge upside in front of him. He's just got to continue to, to continue to grow and get better. And and uh, you know, I think I, I, every indicator that I have about him is that that he's going to push and work and, and try the best he can to be the best that he can be. Griffin, has some of the drop in efficiency for Pat been due to not having Jared opposite of Ben? And, and I guess uh, second, how is he handling maybe not having the success I'm sure he would have liked to have this season? Well, I mean, you know, he's, he's frustrated. Like, you know, I'm sure there's a lot of guys on, on the team that are frustrated, especially when he leaves opportunities out there. He knows he had a, a chance at a, at a, you know, a play uh, the other day and, and didn't finish on the sack, um, you know. Uh, but the, uh, uh, he, I think his mindset is this. Look, look the, the circumstance kind of is, is where it is right now. And for the next three days, I'm going to do, or three games, I'm going to do the best that I can do to, to, to go, Put on film what what it is that I can be. So uh, I don't think he's looking at it um, from a, a standpoint of, of all the all the negative. I think he just he wants to make sure he finishes the right way. Jordan, Alex did a great job flipping the field for you guys. How important was that throughout the course of the game? But also how disappointed were you some of those long drives that you didn't see able to score on? Yeah, I mean we we had some some opportunities where we had him pinned. Um, you know, and, and didn't do a good job of, of keeping him back. And you know, I heard a little bit of, of Coach Norvell's um, press conference, and you know, his his talking about playing complementary football. And in those are situations, you got a team pin pin deep. If you can get the ball back for your offense quickly, um, you know, it obviously helps everybody. It helps you know defense to be three and out, but then it helps the offense to get really good field position. And we got to be better in those situations. But uh, in terms of Alex, you know, he. He had a couple balls that got away from him in terms of location in the game, but um, you know he's been been really good. I mean, he, uh, you know, I I hate for him that's kind of been lost in the year, but you know to this point in the season, I think he's leading the country as the number one punter, and I, I think as a team we're the number one net punt team. And um, you know, you're trying to find those things that you can build upon um, to create the the confidence in in what we're we're doing as a program, but. 
you know, some of that obviously gets lost, right, when, when teams aren't having success. But Alex and, and Ryan have done a, done a really nice job and, and um, you know, probably aren't getting, like, some of the national uh, credit that, that maybe they deserve based on, on where we just are as a football team right now. Could you, uh, just look at Notre Dame's offense and the challenge they present for your position group in particular? Well, you know, I, I have a lot of respect for Riley Leonard as a player. I mean, I, you know, I was very concerned about him when they came in a year ago when he was at a different school. And, uh, you know, what he can do both in the pocket and out of the pocket, how he can kind of extend plays. And also the design quarterback run, all that, all that is, is going to be a challenge. Um, you know, it's going to be a physical game. Um, you know, that, that's their nature. That's who they are. And uh, we're going we're gonna to have to be able to, to match that physicality to go out there and, and be able to have success on Saturday night. Any other questions for JP?